Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll show you how to import custom Game Boy Advance save files onto your Supercard SD Mini. So in this video, I'm going to be choosing a Pokemon game, but this will work on any Game Boy Advance game you want. So the first thing you want to do is just take the SD card out of your Super um, SD Mini. Put it into the SD card adapter and then connect it to your PC. Right guys, so once you're on your computer, there are several links in the description. The first link is the original tutorial to my Supercast SD Mini video. Basically, um, there will be a link in the description if you haven't already done it. It's just the software for transferring games across. I'll leave um, a link to this in the description, it will be the first link. The second link will be Game FAQs. This is where you can get save files from. So, as you can see, I want a Pokemon Emerald save file, but you can pretty much search any game on this website and get a save file for it. So the second link is just the save file that I'm going to get in this video. I found it, it's actually really cool. It's um, Pokemon Emerald with a complete Pokedex and all shinies. So I'm just going to click that and download it now. So now I'm just going to head over to my downloads folder. So as you can see, I have a Pokemon Emerald ROM, PokemonEmerald.gba, and then a Pokemon Emerald save file. Now what you want to do is head over to the Supercard SD Mini software, just double click it to launch it. Once the software is open and your SD card is plugged in, you will need to locate the ROM, so just press add and then press open once you've got the ROM. Give it a few seconds just to add. Make sure in options that your file path is set to your SD card. Once you've got your ROM, just right click it, go to properties. From here, what you want to do is you want to select the ROM save file. So at the top, you can just click the three dots. Then it's going to bring you to your downloads folder. This is where you open the save file. Once you've selected the save file, just click on OK. And that is all you need to do um, for transferring the save to the ROM. So now you can just click click out it will say um, complete just press OK now you can disconnect your SD card from your PC put it back into the Game Boy cart and test everything and test if everything works right guys so once you have copied everything across go ahead and put the game back in your Game Boy Advance then just go ahead and power it on so what you do from here guys is just press A on Pokemon Emerald just like normal so just launch it up So it might come up with an error message like this saying the save file is corrupted. Don't worry, um, it will say that on every save file that you import. It's just the sort of glitch that comes up at the start. So just press A to bypass that. As you can see, here it is. Here is the profile. So obviously don't click on new game. Just go ahead and press A on continue. And there you go, we're in the custom save file, so we know it's a custom one because you can press start and see if you've got any Pokemon. As you can see this one's got three in the inventory right here. Um, I believe the Pokedex was complete in this ROM I got as well. So yeah, everything in the Pokedex is complete, everything is caught as well. So this is a 100% um, complete game. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.